guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So today, I have another pickups video for you. As you can tell, a lot of my videos recently have been pickup videos, and I just keep scoring so much stuff for some amazing deals. So I'm very thrilled to share some of these items today as I am desperately trying to rearrange the game room, get things in order, find a spot for everything, so that I can keep buying more. So let's see everything that I've scored over these past few weeks. So let's go ahead and check this out. So first up, this item here, I actually saw at a thrift store and I wasn't really going to buy this until I found out how much this thing was actually listed for. So I saw this behind the counter at the thrift store and I knew that this thing was one of the original ones because this on it somewhere, it says what year it actually is. So we'll try and find that. It says right here, 1978. So this is Simon. This is like Simon says. So here we have a computer controlled game, Simon. Think fast. Simon says, repeat my flashing lights and sounds. So I wasn't even sure if this thing was complete, which it is. It has everything included on the inside. And I figured if this was less than $20 or something, I'd probably pick it up. So when I asked how much it was, they said $3.93. And they said it was half off. So I could not beat that. I definitely had to score it. Is this will look cool in the little retro corner that I have with some of those other handheld tabletop style games. So this is actually really neat. I don't know if it works, but it looks like the battery covers and everything are included. Doesn't look like there's battery corrosion or anything in the little terminal. So I'll have to get this thing powered up, get some video footage of this and see how far I can make it. I remember playing a much newer version of this game growing up. So I thought that this was a pretty neat score. One that I was definitely thrilled to find at my local thrift store. And then a couple other items. So, of course, I saw this at my little flea market that I go to. They had this Teenage Ninja Turtle figure. This one I actually had all of the weapons for him, but I didn't actually have the character itself. So this was actually on sale. This was a clearance out little figure. So I'll have to get him upstairs in the little turtle shelf that I am going to go ahead and get together for you guys. Get a little video because I'm just so shocked at how this thing actually turned out. Now I can go ahead and complete him with all the weapons and everything that go with this character. So that was definitely a score. And then this I saw on Facebook Marketplace for a while. This is Doug. So this little handheld system, it says 1999 Tiger Electronics, all rights reserved. So this is actually really cool. This is one of those Tiger Electronic handhelds for the game Doug. So this is modeled after the cartoons. This is one that just is so cool to have on display because of course we have Doug and this is just so cool. It has the characters right there on the front, these bright, vibrant colors. I'm sure that everything works. You just have to go ahead and put batteries in here. It looks pretty clean. So I'm definitely thrilled to go ahead and try out this little Tiger Electronics handheld. Get it on my little shelf upstairs with other Nickelodeon little characters. I have a Cartoon Network little section. So I'm just trying to build some cool things and just kind of try out some of these old style handheld systems and little games here. Then I went into my flea market and they had a couple boxes for sale. Everything was about $10 or so. So of course I went through their Nintendo 64 boxes that they were just trying to get rid of. A lot of these came with the manuals. So here we have this Nintendo 64 game box with the manual inside. This is Tarzan. So here we have Disney's Tarzan. This one was in very clean shape. Didn't look like it was crushed or anything. So I figured I'd go ahead and add this to the little game collection as I do have every single Nintendo 64 car. I do have them loose. So this is definitely pretty helpful to go ahead and complete some of these games and just add them on the shelves that I have. And then I saw this game. This one also had a pretty decent box. This is Wipeout 64. So this is another game box that came with some of the extras on the inside. Definitely feel the little tray in there and feel the 
the manual. So it has everything complete in this box. And then the one that I was very thrilled to find is I had this as a kid, but I'm not sure where the box ended up. Here we have some Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I loved playing these games. I love the blue cartridge on the Nintendo 64. I still have my original Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 game and box from when I was a kid. Of course, the box is all messed up. So this one is definitely more so one of those nostalgic items in my collection. I love these games, love the entire franchise. I spent many hours playing, just trying to beat so many different scores against all of my friends and I had a blast. So this is definitely pretty cool to have this box. It does have a little bit of damage on the box, but it is complete as well. So this is really sweet. And then while I was there, he knew that I had been eyeing this up for quite some time and he didn't put it out just yet. So he just gave this to me at my flea market. So this is Galaxy 2, an electronic game, this tabletop game. It is missing the battery cover does have some batteries in here of course everything's taped so I'll have to go ahead and pull that apart gently without messing it up this is from 1981 epic company made in Japan so this one is really awesome I'll definitely have to get some gameplay of this as well looks like a lot of these little games I'll have to get some gameplay you can kind of see all of this galaxy stuff you have stars and planets and everything back there but then if you keep going back you actually see where the game plays you have this little joystick here that goes back and forth you have this fire button start select on and off so this is actually really sweet and i really hope that it works because this is definitely a cool one to add to my little tabletop section and then a buddy of mine actually hooked me up before i went to the too many games convention I was actually trying to help him out, he was trying to help me out, we were just trying to trade and get rid of some stuff, maybe make a little bit of extra cash on the way so that we can have money to spend at the game convention. So right here, I've been wanting these for quite some time. It's rather shocking that I don't have one yet. This is the Game Boy Player and it comes with the disc which is very expensive. These can be very pricey. So this is how you play your Game Boy games on your Nintendo GameCube. So right here I was very thrilled. This is in very great shape. It even comes with this little startup disc. So it says Game Boy Player, startup disc, Game Boy Player for use only in USA, Canada, Mexico, and Latin America. So this says GameCube on it. So this is so awesome. I'm so thrilled because I've been looking for one of these. And then of course the price shot up on them. So I was very thankful that he was able to help me out and I can kind of add this to my personal collection. And then he also had this, which I was also shocked I didn't have one already. So this right here, of course it comes with everything, all the wires. This is a Nintendo Wii. Of course it's this blue color, this kind of baby blue color. So this one is not the one that you could go ahead and lift up to play the Game Cube games on. This is just the one that sits like this. And it came with the Wii Motion Plus, this little adapter, this little controller right here. So I thought that this was pretty cool. Definitely thrilled to add this one to my collection as well. And this one will look great with the red, white, and black ones that I already have on the shelf. So next up, I also scored this for my local flea market. This was complete in the box. I'm not even sure how this thing plays. But this has been on my list for quite some time. We have this little Aura Interactor virtual reality gameware so it's like this big backpack it says field punches explosions kicks uppercuts slam dunks crashes body blows and more works with the sega genesis and super nintendo connectors included adjust to fit all sizes so this is actually really crazy looking and then on the back here it says it works with any of these other systems it says video games tv vcr cd stereos home computer and it comes with this power amplifier you control, interactors volume, intensity, as well as what kinds of effects you feel. So I thought that this thing is pretty cool. This is definitely a neat little item that I was pretty excited to score. And I'm not really too sure how it actually works or how it plays. It is pretty heavy, so we'll have to get that thing tested out, try it out with some Sega Genesis games, kind of see how this thing goes. So I was pretty thrilled to see that for a pretty inexpensive price as well. And then this last item here, at least I think it's the last one. This I actually got for free 
from my aunt, and she actually found this in her aunt's closet. So this right here is this vintage system. This is the Bally Arcade. So this thing is so cool. It came with all of these extra wires and everything else. And then of course, when you lift this open, you see all of these game cartridges included. So of course it comes with so many. There's this one, this is letter match, spell and score, crosswords. Then we have some star battle. We have dog patch. There's tornado, baseball, tennis, hockey, and handball. Sea wolf and missile. Space invaders. 2012 Space Fortress. 2001 to 280 Zap and Dodge em. 2011 Galactic Invasion. Football. Clowns Brickyard. 2017 The Incredible Wizard. Panzer Attack and Red Baron. And Bally Pin. So it has all of these different games in here from back in the day. And then of course we have a lot of these different controllers with all of these extra cables. So of course it just has a little button here, this little knob. And of course it says one, two, four. Not sure if we have the third one or not. But this is definitely pretty cool that it came with all of this stuff. It definitely needs a little bit of cleaning to go ahead and make this thing beautiful, make it shining. And I really hope that it works. It looks like it was stored in a pretty well area. So I'm very hopeful that that system will work. I'll have to get everything cleaned up in this little batch of items that I scored and then go ahead and get this stuff on display and then try some of this stuff out. Another neat item that I have been holding on to for quite some time that I have not shown off is actually this pretty vintage system as well. So this is Texas Instruments. This is a TI-99-4A computer. So I actually got this in a box with all of this stuff for about $50 or so. So this right here is this vintage system. Everything should work. It comes with all of these extra power cables, cords, everything else. And then I really like all of these games that it comes with. So here it says application software. So you have a bunch of these right here, these boxes, these little manuals and everything else. It says George Westinghouse. It has more application software boxes. Then we have all of these home computer magazines. So these things are actually really brilliant looking. You have the Commodore 64, the Apple II computer, this TI-99, just all of this really awesome stuff in here. These visuals from all of these magazines, kind of all of these old style ads are just really neat to look at. It says Commodore Software, best game in town. Has all of these different games here on the back. Then this home computer magazine. This one's pretty cool. It says thought processing, food for thought. It has this little burger with some of these games on here. Has all of these different images, different designs, different programming all these different programming lists in here. So these are just really cool to look at. I'll definitely have to spend a little bit more time. This beginner's basic book is included. Just all of this stuff, user's reference guide, read this first, just line by line, these home computer, little budget management books that you can get. Just all of this stuff is included. These old style receipts and printer paper, these little stickers. And then of course we have a lot of these for some of the games that are included. We have this reference card. We have this Lloyd's, some more software. We have this solid state cartridge game. We have blackjack and poker. We have another one, some more home computer stuff, which I don't really know too much about this stuff. So if there's anything that you see in here, Definitely mention it below. We have this TI Invaders. Some of these look really cool. These instruction guides, these little modules, Car Wars, and just some more stuff here. Then of course we have all of these books as well. So it looks like each time we go down here, we see all these really cool computer books, these source books, 
with some pretty creative style front covers, just the images, everything for the TI-99, some more processing stuff, this home computer, computer sports, Commodore, Apple, Texas Instruments, IBM. So these were the lead competitors at the time. And it just looks like the list just keeps going on and on. Then, of course, it had all of these games included. We have TI Extended Basic, Car Wars, Tombstone City, Parsec, Alpiner. We have Tombstone City. I think that's a duplicate. Home Financial Decisions, Household Budget Management, Blackjack and Poker. And then this right here, Simon Saucer, an adventure in computer literacy through computer gaming. Then it has this little tape, this little cassette tape, and then all these little cards in here. So I really like how this kind of is displayed with this hard case. Then of course all of these extra cables, cords, and then right here this program recorder. So overall, this set right here with some of these old vintage systems, some of these variants that I don't have in my game collection, all of these cartridge-based games from back in the day, this computer, all of these amazing computer magazines, these tabletop games, some of the older style ones and some of the newer ones like that Doug Tiger Electronics handheld system, the vintage Simon little handheld tabletop, kind of game that you can go ahead and play and then all of these Nintendo 64 game boxes just let me know in the comments below which you guys like the best in this little video do you actually have any of these systems or tabletop games which ones do you prefer would you definitely like to see a video on some of these actually play if I can get them working and what would you like to see more specific let me know in the comments below and of course thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.